What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Grandia 2. Well, in the last part, well, we finally got to Granite's Cathedral, but since Elena left, that one of the guards decided to tell us, Ryudo, you have a special request from Lord Zera, or Holiness Zera. So, so we're heading to the Granite's Cathedral and see what this special request is, because I have no idea. Alright, so this is the Gr Grannis Cathedral that we've been hearing about for a while. We haven't heard this music in a while. The only time we actually hear it is when we're in a ter church. This is the biggest one of all. Yeah, it's uh, pretty fancy. Yeah, I bet it took forever. I don't know how long it would, but... Alright, so let's check this place out. Okay, I can't go over there. Alright, well, let me post to go the proper way. Talk to this guy. This place isn't as big as you think it is. It may look really huge on the outside, but there's really not much you can, you know, go in this place. There's like a couple doors, but it's not like m remotely massive or anything. It's really weird. It's like the inside is smaller than what the outside was. The only big part of the, uh, place you're going to see is the actual cathedral behind that door. That's like the biggest part of the whole, um, you know, cathedral and everything. So we're going to go alone since, uh, yeah, let's do it. Since Lord Zero, or <laughs> it's Holiness Zero, whatever, I'll call him Zero. I'll see you guys later. I'll probably meet you all in the library later. Okay, so let's uh, check around here. So yeah, there's the library that they just went to. And over here is... Uh, yeah, we're going to go there later. And for some reason, the music decided to restart itself. Alright, well, I couldn't get a chance to stop that text because it went by so fast. Yeah, this is the biggest part of the whole cathedral right here. That's why I call it church. Wow, this place is huge. Alright, I'm going to be quiet on this part. Bring to this world light, peace, and harmony. Your Holiness Zera, 
Please, calm our anxious hearts. What can we do to rid the world of the terrifying darkness? You must bolster your soul. If you leave no chink in the armor of your soul, then the darkness will be forced to leave. Please save us from Valmar. You must not falter. We must all not give in to darkness. I cannot save you. You must save yourselves. Your Holiness Zera, please lend me your ears. Yes, what should we do? Holiness, what will Zara, happen to Holiness. the world? Quiet. We are here to bring peace to the world. How can one do so in a panic? Everyone, please, calm down. Yet, Your Highness Zera, the recent rumors of the revival of Valma are not going away. I have even had reports that the rumors might be true. Right, High Priestess Selene? At this rate, the day of darkness seems unavoidable. But... We must not strike fear in the hearts of the people we are trying to save. Doing so would surely go against the will of Lord Granus. What do you say, Cardinal Oro? Oh, when the day of darkness comes, the world will most definitely be destroyed. Ah, I don't know what we can do. Celine, do not misunderstand me. I'm not saying that the action the Cathedral Knights took was wrong. But you went too far. You must not frighten the people away from Lord Granus. Yes, Your Holiness. You must all remain on guard, so that darkness cannot take advantage of you. Please, everyone, back to your rooms. Okay, we're done yet? Okay. That was kind of a little bit longer cutscene there. <laughs> yeah, Ryuta was hearing the whole thing. This guy seems like a really powerful pope then, obviously. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, Celine and well, I, I didn't really want to talk throughout this scene or anything, so. Because it had the singing part, which is freaking awesome. I think we actually heard that song before, but hearing it from the cathedral was definitely perfect, so. Alright, so we're going to follow them, of course. And see what this special request is. I don't even know yet. Alright, what is this special request you want me to do or what? Yeah, she's got the wings of Valmar. Sword of Granus. Driven sword the Grana Saber, huh? So I'm gonna find this sword to try to remove darkness, huh? He almost said the other name. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, fair enough. 
Yes. Hmm. Oh, wait, I have to wait tomorrow then. Okay. Wish you could tell me now. We we'll have to wait another day or anything. Okay. Interesting. So we had to get the sword to try to cover up darkness. Sort of light. Grant a savior, huh? This is very interesting. The sword to stop Valmar. Where the. Uh, I guess we can't. You know find where the sword is because they'll tell us tomorrow so wonder where the sword would be though like huh we'll know the answer of that later but you know of course when we when Zara tells us but I'm just guessing like where would it be though Driven sword. Or the divine sword. Yeah, my bad. over here. Okay, I can't go over there. How about over here? Ah. Uh, oh well. Just checking around see if there's anywhere else to go. Alright, so I'm gonna probably head to the library and see what Merrig and uh, Ron are doing. Since I had that speech with Zero. Seems like we're gonna have a new task in hand. No big surprise there, because considering this game's pretty long. Alright, guys, what are you up to? Oh, it's uh, kind of a. I wouldn't say too long of a story, but it's uh, convoluted. That saying pretty much tells us that we need to stop Valmar with this divine sword before the day of darkness happens. Alright. Yeah, we're pretty hungry right now, so let's go ahead and get some to eat.
What's that thing? Oh, Elena. And the moon of Elmar right there. That's a pretty cool shot. What's she up to? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And of course, we're not aware of it because we're on the other side. It seems like she transforms more, you know, towards nighttime than daytime. Obviously, As you know, it makes sense. At nighttime, you turn into the wings of Valmar. You had the moon of Valmar. So, I'll be damned, it's her. Yep. Who else would it be? I was pretty much acting like Ryudo, so I already kind of knew that, but of course I was saying I'll be damned, so yeah, whatever. Alright guys, so I'm going to stop right here, so we're going to find out what, uh, what she's actually doing. Why is she doing all this, and whatever, so. Alright guys, peace out.